on our top story now. Added police presence for Mardi Gras will extend through the middle of May. State police and NOPD announced this deployment this afternoon. WDS anchor Gina Swanson is live again at NOPD headquarters. And Gina, this trooper presence involves more than just walking the beat, right? Absolutely, Scott. Troopers will be looking for narcotics, weapons, and get this, to almost a thousand people in the city wanted for felonies, all while keeping people safe this carnival season. The first weekend of Mardi Gras, they'll have a contingent of troopers in um, to do French Quarter work, um, vehicle enforcement and traffic enforcement, and violent crime enforcement in and around the French Quarter, and they'll bring it in. Uh, the heaviest contingent for the second weekend. It is welcome news to many residents as police manpower has been a point of concern this is no time zone. and contention in some areas that have seen a spike in violent crimes and assault. Because NOPD staffing is so lean, state police will be in the city beyond Fat Tuesday to help with other high profile events. We want to make sure that we we put a strategic deployment of, of state troopers and public safety police officers here during that time so people will see them. So my goal as we move forward is to, to look at those dates, implement a plan for that, which we have done, and also look at the French Quarter Fest and then the Jazz Fest. That puts us through, uh, through a May, uh, middle of May time frame. It's a plan that's been approved by Governor Bobby Jindal and state leaders, but with an extended stay, how much will it cost and who's going to foot the bill? The chief and the colonel are still trying to nail down how to pay for those extra boots on the ground. He and I both are looking for funding sources to be able to accommodate them, their needs here in the city, and the length of stay that they're going to be here. Uh, so we're, that's something that we're working through as we speak, and there'll be many more meetings before, uh, before Mardi Gras and, and even after Mardi Gras to figure out what this looks like and how long it'll last. There's no doubt extra police presence is needed. The head of state police says they're getting right to work in partnership with NOPD to round up those in the city who are wanted. We're going to team up with the New Orleans Police Department. Uh, they're telling us they probably have over a thousand felony warrant arrests. Well, they're going to give them to us. We're going to work them through our fusion center. Uh, we're going to gauge them. We're going to um, put them together, and then we're going to start knocking on doors. Now, Colonel Edmondson says this is all about helping the police department rebuild, keeping people safe. But looking ahead, moving forward, he says that state leaders are already looking into a dedicated revenue stream in order to keep troopers in town year round. For now, we're on your side at police headquarters. I'm Gina Swanson. Back to you. Thank you, Gina. The head of state police also says beyond the downtown area, there will also be deployments in other parts of the city as needed.